Eight hours ago, the second season of Survivor Palisades took place. And six fans of Survivor were ready to play the game. I'm a big fan of Survivor, and I'm ready to win today, so bring it. But they were not alone, as four returning players from Season 1 of Survivor Palisades were also there. Whether they were there for revenge or redemption, they all wanted to win. So last season I got blindsided pretty hard. Sean? Excellent. Last season I played really well. I voted out my closest ally. I found two idols and I still came in second place. And I'm back this season to win. I won last Survivor. The winner is Survivor Pass! I pretty much try to be honest, won some challenges, and then kept surviving until I was voted to the top. And now only four are left. Kellen. He started the game unlucky as the one fan on the tribe of four favorites. But he recovered quickly by finding an idol. Congratulations, you found the hidden immunity idol. Now the only boy left, will this strong social player be able to make it to the end? Or will his dreams of becoming the winner of Survivor Palisade be cut just short? Keely. She started the game off quietly, but began making Deals in creating blindsides. But already finding an advantage in winning a challenge, will Keely be viewed as the big threat that she is, or will she be able to win immunity or convince her allies to take her to the end? Sage. She has gone to every tribal council, won a challenge, and found two idols, yet still seems to be overlooked. Now, will this underdog be able to plead her case to the jury, or come up just short? Becca. Hoping to take out either Abigail or Becca. She was targeted early, but her incredible social skills led her to find numerous cracks in multiple alliances, which caused her to be the swing vote on almost every tribal she attended. Now, as the only favorite left, will Becca be able to make it to the end, or will history repeat itself? We started with ten, now only four remain. One favorite, and three fans. Who will become the sole survivor and claim the hundred dollar prize? Nine hours, ten people, one survivor.
now it's the final four, um, and I really think that if Kellen went to the end, he would get a lot of votes from the jury, so I think the next move is to take out Kellen. He wants to talk to me. No, to me. Okay, it's fine. Do you guys want to vote again? It's fine. Keely just approached Sage and I to talk about voting out Kellen, but I didn't really think that was the best plan, so after just for my own interest and I guess it would work for Sage too. So after Keely left, I talked to Sage about voting out Keely because Keely's kind of the biggest threat in this game and she's made a lot of moves and kind of been the person behind a lot of blind sides and votes. At this point in the game, you can't trust alliances anymore. There's going to be one right here. It's about yourself. You've got to go. You have to go. You think he's just going to win? We should tell Kelly. Yeah, we will. I don't know if he will. Well, it doesn't matter. If we tell her, it's not going to change anything. No one can no one can use an immunity idol or anything. So, Becca approaches me, and she wants me to vote for Keely. And I do agree that Keely's a pretty big threat, so I think if Keely doesn't win immunity, I'm going to vote for her. It's only if she wins the challenge. There's a challenge, but that's she it. That's it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, she might win the challenge, though. Yeah. doesn't matter. Wait, what are you doing? I'm voting for Keely. I want to put Keely too bad. Good. Because she's really going to challenge you. She's going to win. I know. So you're voting for Keely. I want to vote for Keely. I just didn't tell her that to her face. Yeah, yeah. Becca and I have made an agreement to vote for Keely tonight if she loses because we think she might win. Thank you. 
wrong. First, I was unsure of who to vote for, um, but Sage and I were allies from the beginning, and I think Becca is less of a threat than Kellen, so I think I'm going to vote out Kellen. Um, I feel really bad, but I think this is my best option to make it to the end and win. It's frustrating that Keely won the challenge because I thought I was guaranteed in the top final three if she didn't, and now I need to rely on Becca to help me because uh, Keely might vote on me, even though Sage is the bigger threat. Keely originally was kind of in the middle about everything. I didn't really know what was going to happen. She was kind of a swing vote. But I think she's kind of set her mind on Kellen, voting Kellen out. But I don't really think that's the best idea for my game because Sage has made like a lot more moves than Kellen has. She found two idols. She's won immunities. Um, and overall, if I was to go into the final three with Keely and Sage, I don't think it would go. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm going to try and draw rocks. We'll see. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I don't want to go home either. won that challenge and it was not hard for you at all. What was it like not winning this challenge? Um, I mean it was kind of fine. I think what happened is my brain kind of messed up one and four because I numbered them in my head. Um, <laughs> and I'm just really exhausted. That's the main point I was trying to make. But I'm just really tired. Um, Keely, so now that you have, you barely won because Sage and uh, that dog had like one thing off. You guys were so close. Uh, is it going to be a hard decision tonight who you're going to vote? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I have made alliances with all these people at some point, and it's tough to break them. Uh, Kellen, do you feel in danger tonight? 100%. Do you think you're going home? 100%, yeah. Uh, do you guys feel like you're going home in the back? I feel like there's a good chance that people have been talking about it. Like, at this point, you never know what's going to happen. <coughs> There, and with that, let's get to the vote. Becca, you will be up first this time.
time of time. Idols. Once the person is voted out, they will be asked to leave the tribal council area immediately and they will become the seventh final member of the jury. Oh, That is two votes count, one vote sage, one vote left. Six, seven person voted out of survivor and the seventh final voter. Kellen. You need to bring your torch. Kellen. 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 Kellen.
My Alliance was the most important part of the reason that I'm here. It's because My Alliance was very, um, from the merge pretty much, it was very strong and the entire time we didn't really waver and we were very uh, effective in doing all the Okay. Keely, you're up next. Um, I agree that my alliance was a very important part of my game. Um, I had a strong alliance for all, the entire game, basically. After the merge, I met new people and was able to float in between groups and stay solid when the time came. Um, I feel that I played strongly in the challenges, enough to keep myself in the game and a worthy player. And then I found an advantage in the first couple minutes of the game that allowed me to go to the top three in one of the challenges. Sage? Um, well, I think that Alliance was definitely a big part of it, and that's always an important part in this game. And I feel like I played really well because I won a challenge, I found two idols and a clue, um, I, and I went to every single tribal council and managed to survive all of them, so I feel like that's an accomplishment. Okay, um, Jerry, you guys are going to be addressing the final three first. Uh, Liam, you're up first. Yeah, you can just ask the question. All right, so um, who was the hardest to vote out? Um, that date can start. Can I choose two people? Am I allowed to choose two people? Oh, I'm sorry. I just I had a really hard time voting out some people because I had alliances with them beforehand and they were like very strong alliances. So especially like people that I knew beforehand, like from the other time that I played. Um so yeah, I don't I don't know. That's that's my answer. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I would have to say Dylan, actually, because that was, I knew that was one of my only, or one of our only chances to vote him out because he was so strong in the immunity challenges and because he had a lot of alliances with a lot of, like, both groups, both sides. And yeah, that was, it was fairly, it was in the middle of the game, uh, a little after the merge, and I know he could have been here right now, and I think he he would have been if he hadn't been voted out. Um, that's really hard. For me, it was probably Dylan or Sean, just because I wasn't sure if I was making the right decision or if that was like the right person to vote out. And since I didn't really know, it was kind of a hard, a hard one. Um, Kellen, you're up next. Uh, who, like, in the start of the game, did you think you were gonna try to get out first? Me? Can it go this, this way this time? I'm, I'm sorry, I just, I don't think so I'm like, ready for all these questions. So basically, like, who at the very start you were like, oh, I need to get this person out. Um, for me, it was probably Dylan, just because he had won last year, and so I, and I didn't play with him, so I didn't really know what to expect. Same for me. Uh, I didn't have. I didn't know him. Obviously, we didn't. We hadn't had an alliance yet. And I knew that he won last year, and he dominated in the physical challenges. So that also. Uh, I would say Abigail because she. I like this year. I don't think you guys really got to see it, but she had quite um, like a very fierce tenacity to the way that she played last year. Which was very, um, I mean, very hard to deal with, especially when you get to the, like the merge and people keep slipping through your fingers in terms of who you're trying to vote out. So I think when the opportunity arose, I took it. But 
when I came into the game, I was thinking about that um, for quite a while because it was kind of just something that had occurred to me and had happened to me earlier in another game. Um, Zach? Well, this is a question for Becca and Keely. So, um, for me, I did. For me, I think the play that really defined my game was getting rid of some person on the other alliance to even out the numbers on my tribe on the first tribal council. And um, Sage did a lot of stuff like that. Like she found a lot of idols, played them on people. She did a lot of blind sides. And you guys kind of just floated around in alliances. And I was wondering if there was anything really like special, game-changing plays that you guys think you did. Well, I would say that we actually orchestrated the Abigail blind side. I don't think anyone really knows this, but we were actually the people behind, like a, among others, obviously we can't just be us two voting out Abigail, but um, we were the ones who, that just happened, like we were the people who thought of the idea and executed it. However, Abigail and um, Sage didn't know this. They thought that we were voting for Sean until Helen went and told Sean that we were all voting for him, even though we weren't. And so they thought that the that it was messed up. So then they were like, "Okay, we'll vote for Helen." So then that's how that happened. And Sean was actually going to vote for me. So that's how all the votes ended up. But uh, I think that was an important part of my game. Okay. I, I agree. Also, um, without like uh, Becca and I definitely orchestrated Dylan's leaving the tribe because we uh, actually blindsided Abigail and Sage and told them. That we were doing something different, and then also uh, I orchestrated Kellen's leaving from <laughs> the tribe. Unfortunately, I just <laughs> I decided that I needed to switch up the game, and so I like without they without that uh, it could have been going to drawing rocks, and I didn't think that leaving it up to chance would help my game at all. Okay, thank you. Dylan? Okay, so this question is for Becca. Um, you were in the least, or I'm pretty sure you were in the least amount of tribal councils out of oh. these people. Yeah. Um, why should you win when you had a higher chance of surviving? Um, I mean, I think that I should win because a lot of my game was social and then obviously I did have a higher chance of surviving but I don't think that that was like besides the actual physical like numbers of it I don't think that that was really um, a part of my game in terms of um, how it affected me like for instance although I like what I'm trying to say is that like if I was in their position I don't think it would have been like I feel like I still would have been sitting here I would have gotten very close because my social game was uh, like a large part of the reason. Okay. Sage, you were in, I'm pretty sure, the most tribal councils. What did you do that kept you in? Well, I feel like I definitely had a strong alliance from the beginning, and that really helps. And also, I felt like I sort of, um, I wasn't distinctively turning against anyone, so no one felt like they had to turn against me in the voting, and I think that sort of helped me. Uh, all the tribal councils. Okay. Um, so I mean, clearly y'all did something like good in this game because you're sitting there and we're sitting here. So congratulations. But um, if you could go back and change one thing from your gameplay, what would you change? Probably if I could change one thing, I would um, I think I might change who I voted for in the very last tribal council. Who is that? Probably, I think, yeah, Becca might have been the smarter choice, but <laughs> also I don't think anybody else was, so that would have helped me. You. I actually have the same answer, and I 
think that because Becca clearly played a very, very strong game from behind and behind the scenes and <laughs> um, not not that Kellen didn't play a strong game or anything. <laughs> no, I mean, you, you played a strong game. It's just that Becca definitely was able to, uh, you, like, like she said, you go for behind people and not use people, but help them to further her social game. Um, I would say the most, it would also be the same, it would be the vote, because I, I think Sage was, um, she found, first of all, she went to every single tribal council, second of all, she, want, like, she found a bunch of idols and advantages and she's that further her game, um, and also she's just likable, so, there's that. Okay, thank you. Abigail? Okay. Hi everyone. So I want to ask you, um, so what was one of the biggest things that you did in your game to get you to the final three? I think the probably the biggest thing is was my alliance and having people I could trust telling me who they were actually going to vote for. Um, for at least most of the tribal councils, and um, me being able to vote with them and them not voting for me to be Um, I would agree. Uh, my, my most important alliance, I guess, was right after the merger uh, when we got switched, when, our, when we switched our tribe, right before the merger, when we switched our tribes, and I was with Kellen, Sean, and Dylan because I met them, I was able to make a bond with them so then they had my back, I had their back, and then I was also alliance with Sage and then I met Abigail and Becca and so I was I had multiple people and I had numbers. But your most important alliance is all sitting on the jury right now. Well one of my oh this is my this is my first alliance. Okay. Um yeah I would say the whole alliance things uh socially came into play pretty well. The merge. I think it was um it was a little bit hard because there was like you know scrambling always as it always is. But um I think the alliance and also um I think I just think that the way that um we like the way that it ended up just worked really well because um like a lot of the people that I didn't think were going to, like the people that I didn't want to be sitting next to, um, like I feel like our lines work well together in the sense that we didn't um, sit, I'm sorry, I'm saying on so many times. We didn't go, uh, we chose the right people and like we didn't have to argue with each other about it, which might have further like broken up our alliance, but we knew the right people to take out at the right time. Thank you. Sean, you are last. Okay. Hello? Um, I just have a question for Sage. Um, I just want to know why you gave Kitty the idol instead of me when you knew she was not getting any votes that Shadow Council. Well, it was a really hard decision for me because I knew that I knew that it was between those people who were going on to the finals and I I just felt like you didn't really want to make an alliance with me until I could help you and then so I was and then I knew that if I voted if I did that it would be it would be uh, it would be probably Becca going home which I knew that that might betray um her or Keely's trust, and those were that was a really necessary alliance for me that I didn't want to have to break. Okay. And then for you, Keely, you said uh, earlier that the hardest person for you to vote out was Dylan, but then you, on a different question, you said that coming into the game, the first person you were trying to get out was Dylan. So. Uh, on the tribe, when you're on the tribe, obviously the most important part is tribal or tribal emergency from uh, tribal council, so that your tribe doesn't have to go. So I wasn't on tribe with him in the beginning, obviously, 
And then when, right after the tribe switch and right before the merger, it was important to keep everyone, obviously, we were a strong team, to stay out of tribal council, which we did. But then when it came time to the independ uh, independence and after the everyone merged, uh, he became a big threat. And like last year, he took over, he took over, he won most of them, and then ended up winning the game. So it was important to uh, use every strength of everyone on the tribes, but then it all, everyone came down to themselves when it came to the merger. Okay. Um, okay, um, so we're just gonna have the camera people get ready to film, and jury, you guys will now vote. If you guys can vote in the order that you want to have a major speech, that'd be great. Uh, it's time to vote. Played a really good game. Congratulations to the final three. Thank you, filmers, everyone who helped. Uh, congratulations to the jury. You guys did very well. Thank you. I will not be reading the books now. You guys are going to have to wait until this is edited out and we get to all watch it together. Um, great idol play to Sean's great fake idol play, all the drama with Anna. <laughs> um, thank you, everybody. And then, yeah, so if you win, you're going to get this coveted survivor trophy and then $100 gift card. Last year was 50 Okay. Um, so let's start with Keely. Keely, do you think you could win Survivor Palisades? Um, <laughs> this was a long time ago, and seeing um, everything unfold is really interesting and kind of takes me back to my mentality on that day. Um, I hope I win, but I'd be happy if either of them won because everyone played a really good game. Becca, do you think you could win Survivor Palisades? Uh, honestly? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, I think, <laughs> I think we all know that my blood sugar got very low. That's <laughs> um, I mean, if you if you were there the real day, then you definitely know. Um, so no, but I'm very happy for everyone else. And I'm glad that I played. Like it was fun. I'd do it again. I had a good time. But yeah, I'm good. Okay, Sage, do you think you could win Survivor Palace here? I mean, I played a good game, and it's like what Keely said. I like it really like. I forgot kind of all about it, and it brings me back, but I honestly think I don't have a huge chance of winning, but well, like she said, too, I'd be super happy with both of them. Okay. 
time to read the vote. There we go. Okay. First vote. Sage. Second vote. Kelly. <laughs> Third vote. Keely. Fourth vote. Sage. Two votes Sage. Remember, it takes four to win. So two more votes for Keeley or two more votes for Sage, and they will be the winner of Survivor Palisades. Sage. That's three votes Sage. Two votes Keeley. Zero votes Becca. <laughs> the winner of Survivor Palisades. Catch Season 3 of Survivor Palisades in early 2020 with six brand new players and six returning players to finish what they started. And a whole new twist.